I have just found the best way for consistency and realism with Flux. This method involves a more realistic and faster way of Flux LoRa training using a new AI tool. With this same tool, you can do image to image transformations with your LoRa, which is 10 times better than normal face swap. This means if you like any picture, you can recreate that same picture, but for your AI influencer. Another great feature is that you can make your influencers make any facial pose you want, which is extremely useful. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my new AI channel focused on free AI tools and AI influencers. Now, the goal is faster flux training and achieving better consistency. For this, there's a new tool, as I mentioned earlier, which is far better than other tools like Tensor, in my opinion. On any Google Chrome tab, search for OpenArt AI. You should see this interface. What I love about OpenArt is that it offers a wide range of absolutely huge options. Aside from ultra-fast LoRa training and image-to-image -image with your LoRa, they've got even more tools tailored for AI influencers and AI artists. For example, you can remove backgrounds, change facial expressions, apply AI filters, or even do sketch-to-image conversions. But these are just the tip of the iceberg. For more, we can go here to the app section. You'll see there are many tools here to try out. If you go to models, you'll find a variety of models and LoRa is perfect for AI influencers. If you watched my previous video, you know we first need to generate the face. Since focus wasn't working for some of you, you can generate the face here on OpenArt. Click on Create, and you'll be taken to this page. Here are some of my previous generations. Go to Model, and choose any of them. My favorite is Flux1Dev. Type in your prompt. Increase the number of images to about three, and hit Create. As you can see, it barely took any time. These are the results ultra realistic. We can improve them by clicking on auto upscale, selecting refined, and adjusting the settings slightly. Then click create. Once it's done, take a look. You'll notice more details added to the images. We use this for training our LoRa. If you didn't watch my previous video, we used the generated face for face swapping real photos. Those face swaps would be used for LoRa training because it brings out the realism in flux and makes it consistent at that. Using a site like Fake Face, you can swap your model's face into the dataset. To learn how to create the dataset, watch that previous video. But to sum it up, you're going to get real life pictures of any model to use as in LoRa training. Of course, best to pay the model, then face swap those pictures and use as your dataset. Now, let's focus on LoRa training. Trust me, it's now more realistic and much faster. Go back to open art and return to the home page. Under models, you'll see an option to train your model. Click on it. This process is different from tensor arts, but it's much better. You can train for style, character face, or even objects. For this, choose character and give it a name. Then describe it. This portion would probably serve as your trigger word. Proceed to upload your images. As I mentioned earlier, your dataset should contain at least 22 images. The more, the better. You can increase the training steps. Let's try 1,500 steps. Let's see if we can get something lower, maybe 1,250 or 1,300. Oh, it seems the steps increase in increments of 500. So adjust accordingly and hit generate. The LoRa training will start. It's done in about 20 minutes, which is way faster than the nine hours with Tensor. Now, let's test it out. Click on Create, and you'll be taken to this page. Under Models, you'll find your trained LoRa. Type in your prompt, add the trigger word, and enable Enhance Prompt. You can change the output size and select a particular seed under Advanced. For upscaling, I recommend 2x and turn on Face Enhance, which Tensor doesn't offer. Click Generate, and in seconds, the images are ready. Let's take a look. As you can see, they're ultra realistic and consistent with your AI model. Even the other images maintain consistency and realism, all in crystal clear quality. If you want, you can upscale further. To avoid doubts, let's try another complex prompt. Once done, click Create, and let's see how it does. It's done, and the results are amazing. The images maintain absolute consistency in both facial and body features. They're also realistic and generated in literal seconds. Now, let's try image to image transformations with our LoRa. So go here. Upload a picture you like and generate something similar. To test this feature, I uploaded a man's photo. Scroll down and click Generate Prompt. Click on View. 
Afterward, go to the prompt box and adjust the pronouns to indicate it's a woman you want to generate. When done, scroll down, ensure everything is okay, and click Create. Take a look, it's a perfect match. The generated image looks exactly like our model and closely resembles the input image. Notice the original image was of a man, yet open art transformed it beautifully. With this, you could easily do face swaps. And all the variations are top-notch and perfect as well. Now I'm in the AI Tools section, or as they call it, Apps. There are many tools here, but one perfect for AI influencers is the Facial Expression tool. I think it's awesome, and I'll show you why. Here's an image we generated earlier. Under Preset Faces, let's try Surprised. It's done, and you can see it did a wonderful job. There's no morphing or blurring. You can download the result. Let's test another one, maybe Wink this time. As you can see, another great result. It captured the expression perfectly. You can upscale or style it further, which is really cool. You can also in-paint. Simply brush over an area, for example, this neck. Then under this prompt section, simple type in what you want, for example, necklace. It works flawlessly. Open art is like tensor art, but on steroids, streamlined and feature packed. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about dataset collection, watch my other video on the topic.